many cardiac patients or potential cardiac patients do have um, symptoms which uh, are difficult to catch. Uh, some of the symptoms may be as simple as faints or dizziness or blackout. And some of the symptoms may be just palpitations, feeling of irregular heartbeats or fast heartbeats. And the, the, the major problem is that we have to establish a relationship between what people feel and what the electrical activity of the heart is at this particular moment. The problem is common. People are coming to emergency rooms and frequently there are symptoms just disappearing when they are still on the waiting room. With new technology, uh, we, we became aware and uh, St. Jude Medical brought uh, to Canada a device uh, named uh, Confirm, which is an implantable loop recorder of even smaller size than the prior one and very good um, uh, sensitivity. And this device is very small. You basically do an incision uh, less than one inch long and you hide this device under, under patient's skin and patient goes home within a couple of hours. Uh, we will be able to talk to the device and ask to recall if there was any abnormal heart rhythms. So when, when you do have this uh, recorder implanted in you, uh, you, you may choose one of two ways of communicating to your doctor at Sunnybrook. You can either come to Sunnybrook uh, after phone call and we'll talk to the machine through your skin and we'll find out if there was any abnormal electrical bit. Or uh, you can use a, a home uh, phone machine uh, to uh, send us a interrogation from this uh, uh, device just by applying a small device on the skin uh, above the device and we'll be able to read a strip of your abnormal rhythms. The major benefit of such technology would be uh, our ability to arrive to um, diagnosis of cardiac condition related to the abnormal rhythm or to arrive to the conclusion that heart rhythm is not involved because if we will be able to document normal rhythm during these events then the problem apparently is somewhere else. Is the extreme importance of this technology is that it now allows us to reliably record in patients in whom these episodes are extremely rare, as rare as one in two or three years. So the, the person in reasonable health is likely to go back to normal uh, physical activities with an hour or two after such procedure. For a person who is elderly and not so well, you may need you know, to take it easy for a day or two before coming back to your routine.